This is Dave Rogie. I'm here this evening on behalf of the Lake Chelan High School and the Lake Chelan Sports Blog, and I'm here talking with the candidates for Miss Lake Chelan this year. And first up, we have Annika Nolan. And Annika, thank you very much for taking time out to talk with us this evening. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about who Annika Nola is? Well, um, I'm born and raised here in Chelan. I've lived here all my life, been in the school district for 17 years now. Um, my mom's name is Chris Nolan. My dad's name is Nicholas Nolan. Um, I have two brothers, an older brother, Parker Nolan. He's 19, and a younger half-brother named Wyatt, and he's four. Um, I'm really into music. I love writing songs, writing music, playing in band. Um, active member in the community, and yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, but all of the young ladies in the contest on the contest are, are juniors in high school. Yes, correct? current juniors. Great. Okay. Next, I'm going to talk with Jordan Elred. Is it Elred? Eldred. Eldred. I'm sorry. Excuse me, uh, Jordan. So tell us a little bit about Jordan Eldred. Um, I've lived in Chelan for eight years now, and um, I started fourth grade in he here and been here. It's up to eleventh. And um, I'm an active member in Chelan, and I play in band, and I'm part of drama. And my parents are Barb and Rob Eldred. And I have one brother, Tyler, and um, two sisters, JC and Shay. Okay, great. And then last, we've got Izzy, and we've got Izzy New. And uh, Izzy, thank you for taking time also with us this evening. Tell us about who Izzy is. Well, I've lived in Chelan all my life. I went to preschool here, and I'm currently a junior. I like to throw pottery, My and my mom is Jackie New, and my dad is Mel Hart. I don't know what else to say. Okay. And you, as you said, have been in Chelan all your life. Yes. Uh, anything particular you like to do besides the, the pottery work and, and working with arts? Um, I like riding horses. And dirt bikes. And Super. Since we got the camera on you now, we're going to kind of step and back just a little bit, but I'm going to ask some questions of each of you. And so I'm going to kind of make you a little bit smaller here so that I can see all of you. I'm going to ask you to squeeze in just a little bit, if you would, please. Perfect. That's great. Thank you. We're going to start with you, Izzy. Tell me, what made you decide you wanted to be in the Miss Lake Chelan pageant? Well, I am planning on going to college after I graduate, and it would help me a lot with the scholarship. And my sister, she actually did the pageant, so I thought it would be nice if I did it after. So kind of have a little family togetherness there, something, <laughs> an experience you probably both could share and talk about, I would imagine. Yeah. Sure. And how about you, um, uh, Jordan? What, is there a particular reason why you decided to join the pageant? Well, I am also to, um, going to college after high school, and it helps a lot with scholarship money. And also, I was talking with um, some of the past candidates, and they talked about how fun it was and what, um, how many new friends you get to make, and I thought it would be a great experience. Speaking of making new friends, Annika, uh, I understand that there is quite a bit of travel involved with this uh, particular pageant yes. because it has to do with floats and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what you know about the uh, the process. Um, I know that after, if the, the three winners get to go to like Wenatchee Apple Blossom and they also get to go in the Manson Apple Blossom mm -hmm. and ride in the cars and I think that would be really fun. <laughs> and I think it would also be really cool to be able to share with other communities how great like we think Chelan is and really be a representation of that. You realize, of course, all three of you, if any of you are selected, my uh, T-Bird always ends up taking one of the, the <laughs> princesses or the, or the queen, or however it's said, uh, get to ride along in the T-Bird for the parade. Yes, so that would be kind of fun to have one of you. Um, so what kind of preparation do you have to have, Jordan? Um, well, we start. We started in the beginning of January um, with practices, and we learned dances and um, couple dances. And we have to get dresses and pick a talent. And um, we start practicing like questions and prompt two questions that we could get asked while we're on stage or during interviews with the judges. Okay. All right. Um, 
So now, Izzy, let's get back, coming back around to you. <laughs> Lucky you, huh? Um, let's talk for just a moment. You mentioned, our, our Jordan mentioned uh, talents. What type of, is it only performances? Are there other kinds of things that you can do when you're involved in the pageant? Yeah, there's, you can do whatever mean, like, means the most to you. Like me, I'm doing a speech on pottery because mm -hmm. I love pottery. Okay. And so you could do speeches, you can do a performance, you you can do all sorts. Okay. All right. And um, what kind of thing do you have planned, Jordan? May I ask? Um, I plan on playing my saxophone. Great. And that's something you've been at a long time. Uh, yeah, I've been um, playing in band for seven years now. And I know that the band, is this not the year that the band is going to Disneyland? Yes. Is this yes. there? <laughs> this is the year for the big trip? I know. Yes, we're excited. Uh, and uh, you also are a member of the band? Yes. Yeah, I, my daughter loves, she plays clarinet. She's only in middle school, but she loves to play her clarinet. So uh, hopefully maybe you guys can inspire her to continue with it. We, <laughs> we hope that she will. Um, let's talk, Annika, for just a minute. Uh, Annika, excuse me. All three of you mentioned uh, scholarships, mentioned mm -hmm. school. What kinds of, what are you looking forward to? What do you plan for Annika down the road in school and for a career? Um, well, hopefully I can get into Belmont University, which is a small school in Nashville, Tennessee, and they have a songwriting program there because I'm very into writing music and writing songs. And so hopefully I can do that and then major in that and become a songwriter and maybe take a couple of years off to travel as well. Well, I tell you, that's the place to be, isn't it? Yes. Nashville these days, yes, indeed. How about you, uh, Jordan? What are you hoping? Uh, do you have some selections made for your future, or are you just kind of still thinking about it? Um, I do have some selections. I um, am hoping to get into the Pacific University of Oregon um, to get my Ph.D. in physical therapy. And then after college, I want to go into the Peace Corps for a couple of years. Well, Outstanding. Mm -hmm. That's a, a, a there's such a tremendous need, isn't it, worldwide for mm -hmm. that type of thing? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, we talked briefly uh, coming back around to Izzy, and I'll ask each one of you about this because this is kind of an important piece of this, and we've touched on it a little bit, but I don't think we've really talked about the amount of commit time commitment. But Izzy, I know that there's time and travel involved in these things. Obviously, we've talked about <laughs> parades and floats and cars and that type of thing. But there's a whole lot more to it, isn't there? Tell me what your perspective is in terms of your time commitment and what kinds of adjustments would you need to make in your life right now to do that? Well, I currently work, so I have to bring in our schedules for the Miss Lake Chelan into my boss and so that she won't schedule me that those days and also with school you have to plan out because you have homework so sure. gotta make time for that absolutely you bet. what about you jordan what what are you seeing in terms of your commitment and what kinds of things would you see needing to change in your perhaps in your lifestyle right now um, well, again, with the homework, um, mm -hmm. you have to kind of plan around because you don't have the whole night for mm -hmm. that if we have practice. And also with band, like we do basketball games and later we're doing like parades and stuff. And so you kind of have to plan around that and talk to Mr. Burdick and tell him that you're mm -hmm. doing this Lake Chelan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And Annika, what about you? I think the two biggest pieces kind of touching on what both of them said is um, time management and um, communication with teachers, just making sure that you're communicating with them if you're missing something or you're planning out when to do your homework and when you're going to have social time with your friends and family time as well. So it's just a lot of organization. Is there, let me, and I don't know, I'm obviously, I'm, I'm learning as we go here. Um, is there also responsibility or is there a responsibility to say mentoring young ladies you know you see these young girls in junior high let's say maybe who are struggling a bit with school or maybe they're just having some self-esteem issues or whatever do you see any does this kind of take any of that in or or do you feel a, a sense of responsibility to maybe to to do some of that i think it's definitely like um standing up and being a good role model for the younger women in the community and setting a good example for them as what 
they want to become and what they want to look up to. Very good. Okay. Any special hobbies besides your music and besides writing? Is there any and pottery? Yeah, and horses. You like to ride horses. It sounds like any special, any other special uh, kinds of things. Are you involved in sports? Uh, do you have a spring sport coming along? Anything like that? That. Well, I'm really into water sports. Um, I used to be a swimmer when I was little, um, but I moved to Schland and um, sadly couldn't continue that. But um, this spring, I'm also playing tennis. Okay, good. So that's All right. Good. That's always a good day. We always have a good program. Mr. Mm -hmm. Roethlisberger does an outstanding job. Well, ladies, I want to thank you for your time. I know that you've got some preparation, and I'm sure that we will get a chance to chat again. Uh, if not now, then certainly if at the end of this, when you uh, want one or all three, whatever the case, uh, should get selected, then uh, I'm sure that we're going to have another opportunity to visit. Maybe at that time even have a chance to meet with your parents a little bit and just kind of get a chance to get better acquainted. It's very important to me in what we do, and one of the big reasons I'm here is because I feel strongly a commitment to you, the young folks at the school, as you know, I'm around here a lot. Mm -hmm. But what's important to me is, is that they see you as something, they see the total you, not just an athlete, not just a musician, not just an artist, but the whole person. There's so much more to the young people in our community than most people get a chance to know. Mm -hmm. And I want to take the opportunity to share you with them so that they get that opportunity. So, ladies, again, thank you so much, and we'll be chatting again. Good evening. This is Dave Rogie, and I'm here with the second three or of the six ladies who have signed up for our Lake Chelan pageant this year. And uh, the first person we're going to talk to, or I should say number four contestant that we're going to talk to tonight is Cassie Lopez. Cassie, thanks for taking some time out. Thank you. Tell us who Cassie Lopez is. Uh, my name is Cassandra Lopez, but everyone calls me Cassie. It's the name that I got in the fifth grade. Um, I am raised here all my life. And uh, my parents, they're Maria and Jorge Lopez. And... Uh, do you have siblings? I do. I have several siblings. <laughs> I have my uh, older half-brother, Abraham uh, Bravo, and I have my sister, Valeria Ruby Lopez. I have Alondra Lopez, Jorge Saul Lopez, and Jorge Luis Lopez, who are twins. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I got a family. Yes, you do. And I love them. Um, it's great. Yeah, and I work at Marcellus as a hostess slash buster, and I enjoy being there working during the summer, seeing all the people come in. I actually want to kind of go into the hospitality and tourism business. I want to major in hospitality business. Um, I'm go I would like to go to WSU and move in with my two best friends. All right. Well, that sounds like a very exciting uh, future if this all, if, whether this works out or not, it sounds like you've got some pretty solid plans in place. I'm so that. next we're going to move over to Ellie Vegdahl. Kroll, yes. <laughs> and uh, Ellie, thanks for taking time out. Of course. And tell us about Ellie. Well, my name is Ellie Vegdahl Kroll. Um, my mother is Karen Kroll. My father is Rolf Vegdahl. I have two sisters, Marta and Mary Morgan. Um, I have a very loved puppy named Wagner. <laughs> <laughs> and I work at Local Myth during the summertime in the back. Um, I take dance lessons at Chelan Dance Center. I play tennis. I'm in the Interact Club and the Drama Club. Um, and I love Lake Chelan. I've been, ra I've been raised here my whole life, and mm -hmm. I hope to represent Chelan. What, uh, where would you like to go to school? Have you thought about where you want to go? Uh, I don't know where I want to go. I'm not sure what I want to focus on, but okay. I know I want to travel. Okay. It is a very big goal for me. Okay, very good. And the third, or the sixth member, is Nora Hollingsworth. And Nora is also here in Chelan. And Nora, tell, introduce yourself for us. If you um, well, I'm Nora Hollingsworth. Uh, my mom is Tracy Hollingsworth, and my dad's Tim Hollingsworth. I have an older brother, uh, graduated last year, Hank Hollingsworth. Um, I'm super involved in the community. Um, I've worked every summer, different jobs, and... I'm super involved in the school as well. I'm in band. I um, was a cheerleader this year for my first year. Um, I've played tennis since my freshman year. Um, I'm in FBLA Interact. I helped co-found the Chelan Project. Um, I'm in Kind Club. 
nice. um, which is kind of a new club. I'm in GSA. Um, mm. I don't remember if I said band, but I'm in band. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I hope to go to either Western or maybe MSU, um, maybe somewhere in California, but mm -hmm. we'll see. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want to maybe major in teaching or something along those lines and get a, hope to get a minor in Spanish if oh, that's a possibility okay. and travel, maybe join the Peace Corps. Are you uh, currently, do you take a lot of Spanish in high school already? Um, well, it's harder to fit that into my schedule, but I'm taking Spanish right now, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to back up just a little bit, and I'm going to ask you ladies if you'll scoot just a little bit closer together, because now I have some just general <laughs> questions that I'm going to kind of move around and ask, and, and I'm just going to kind of pick you out here. And Nora, I'm going to start with you, since you were the last one to introduce mm -hmm. yourself. Tell us a little bit about what's involved with this. Why did you decide to get into uh, the beauty pageant, if you will, Lake Chelan pageant? Um, well, I have grown up, born and raised in Chelan, and I watched it. I've watched it ever since I was young, and I always thought that it would be really a good opportunity to represent the school and the community. And, you know, college is coming up. It's nice to get some scholarships sure. as well. <laughs> sure, absolutely. You bet. So, so this is something you've thought about even before now. I mean, it's something mm -hmm. that you've kind of had in the back of your mind for a while. Yeah. All right, good. How about you? Is there a particular reason why you decided to become a pageant person? Um, very similar to Nora. It's good for college, obviously, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the opportunity has um, mm -hmm. been obvious for me. My sister participated in it, okay. and she loved it, okay. and so I've always looked forward to it. Okay. Yeah. And then, Cassie, what about you? Has there a particular reason that you, other, well, realizing school is a part of that, but what, why, would you, why did you decide to get involved? sister my big sister was an influence on it she thought about doing it her junior year but there was some conflicts um but she thought that it'd be a good opportunity for me and i also wanted to get involved in the community as well mm -hmm. okay good very good um cassie tell me what kinds of things if a person was going to get involved in something like this, what kind of things do you have to do? You know, there's a, there's a, a program, if you will. What kind of things do you have to do uh, when you're running for a uh, Miss Lake Show? Um, you really have to put your time into it, and you have to be ready to do the work that's involved with it, mm -hmm. like practicing the dances and coming to practice on time and um, just the... Talent you have, you have to be okay. present uh, a talent of yours, and there's just poise, which isn't normally something you practice. So you just have to have better mm -hmm. posture <laughs> and, and just okay. move your hand the right way. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny, isn't it? When you hear people talk about a parade wave, you never thought you'd have to worry about that, did you? <laughs> yeah. It's all in the details. <laughs> it's all in the detail. Very good. Okay. What about, um, you know, you mentioned, uh, Cassie mentioned, Ellie, um, that uh, you have to do uh, music or some type of presentation performance. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what does that entail, and is, do you have to be a performer? Um, I think a few of the girls aren't performers. They're not used to being up on stage in front of everyone. And I think it takes you out of your comfort zone for sure, but it's something that everyone should experience. Mm -hmm. It's just good experience mm -hmm. to have that time alone on stage in front of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, it's nerve wracking, but I think it's very important. Um, and it's good for the judges to see your personality and mm -hmm. what you can bring to the table. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Nora, um, if you were selected at Miss Lake Shoham, what all would you have to do? Um, well, I think we're not completely sure because we have new ladies this year, but mm -hmm. I know for sure you you sit in the car and go through the Wenatchee Apple Blossom and the Manson Apple Blossom. Mm -hmm. You do the local parades mm -hmm. here in town, okay. Okay. Um, and then you have to plan next year's Miss Lake Shalane as well. So you, okay. as the queen, you choreograph, um, I think, all the dances, and then the oh, two princesses okay. help with all of that. Okay. Um, as well, and I think there are a couple community events mm -hmm. that go along with that, okay. too. Now, I don't think that they do this anymore. They used to have, you know, I don't know if you girls are old enough to remember this, but mm -hmm. there were years ago, they had a bicycle rally every year to raise money mm -hmm. to make a float for Chelan. Mm -hmm. Do they do float? Does the Chelan make a float anymore? 
No, we ride in like a convertible of somebody's from mm. the community. Yeah, I know my T Bird's been in it a few yeah. times. So yeah, okay. Okay. And Ellie? Mm -hmm. Time commitment. Obviously, doing something like this is a huge time commitment yeah. because you've got to travel to these places. Mm -hmm. Some of them during school, you know, during the school year, so yeah. not. Have you thought about that time commitment, and how do you see adjusting your schedule, or do you feel like you'd have to adjust your schedule in order to be, to be able to participate? I think a big thing with this program is keeping up with your schoolwork, which is, I mean, obviously very hard junior year because we're all very, very involved. It seems like these girls are always very, very busy. Um, but I have thought about the time commitment and senior year. I mean, you have to rearrange a lot of stuff because you have college to think about. And I think this is something I would prioritize because it is it helps with my future. Okay. Yeah. And how about you, Cassie? What kinds of things do you see yourself having to do in adjusting your schedule? Um, definitely work and probably homework and just the basic things like I might join a sport next year so I'd have to balance that and family and just actually time to rest for a little bit you know <laughs> not to stress yourself out completely uh, so that's a good point I'm sure that it could become very stressful <laughs> um, um, and finally okay the last question that I would like to ask I guess for each of you mm -hmm. And how do you see this benefiting you? I mean, we talked about education, mm -hmm. talked about scholarships, so we know that that's one way. How else do you see something like this benefiting Nora and her plans for the future? Um, well, definitely it kind of takes you out of your comfort zone in one way or another. For some people, it's being on stage alone. For others, it's the fitness. You know, um, you just learn different skills, um, poise, and then you have to go out into the community. We actually go um, around for businesses and ask for um, sponsorships or donations and so that really like is a new experience that um, okay. most of us have never Point. experienced before so that is that isn't easy is it <laughs> no and <laughs> like public speaking is something everybody can always work on so mm -hmm. just little okay. things like that okay yeah. what about you Ellie uh, I think that this has benefited me and will benefit me uh, for school because of the experiences we go through we have to talk to a lot of people in the community mm -hmm. and we get to know our community better which is really great for teenagers our age. Um, I also think that the people you get to know in this program is really amazing. Like Julie Straub, who is like the runner um, mm. of everything. <laughs> we have gotten to know her and she's a great lady who has great connections mm -hmm. that we can always use. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then also all the girls, the present royalty and the future royalty. Um, we have we make great friends with everyone, so, yeah. Okay. yeah. Cassie, last but not least, certainly, <laughs> what about you? I feel like it's a great learning experience and a time to grow all as people learning, you know, okay. to talk to others and to get along, to set time and time, time management is very important, mm -hmm. and I feel like it also just allows you to connect with the mm -hmm. community as well if you haven't been connected, mm -hmm. and it just... It's a good way to mm -hmm. represent what the city you love. Mm -hmm. Something that I want you all to remember, and that is as has having been an employer of a rather large employee uh, group of employees over the years, another thing that it looks very good on a resume. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it yeah. looks very nice on there to see because it does say that you're very involved. It shows that you are a self-starter, someone who's willing to take a few risks, put mm -hmm. yourself out there, mm -hmm. and let people judge you a little bit. Certainly, it's you know it's outlined, but but the fact that you're willing to take those chances says a whole lot about you as a person, and uh, you know that means you know if I were looking at you today and I were looking at a resume that said I was Miss Lake Chelan. You know, and I did these things as I, you know, these are the things that I got to participate in. That would make it, that would really, that would stick with me. I mm -hmm. would, would, so that's something that if you haven't thought about it, it's something you certainly want to remember. Mm -hmm. That if, when you get ready to face that work, that job world out there, yeah. being able to say, you know, I'm a go-getter, I'm a self-starter, yeah. and I'm willing to take those chances. So anyway, ladies, I want to thank you all very much. I'm sure this will not be the last time that we get a chance to talk. Uh, and uh, whether it be because you have been selected, one or all of you, uh, I know that we'll get a chance to visit some more. Um, furthermore, at some point, 
um, depending on the outcomes of the people, we'll want I'm going to want to sit down with you and your folks and talk mm -hmm. about, you know, kind of what it means to them because you know, we don't always stop and think about our parents and you know, mm -hmm. we know that it makes them proud. I mean, I'm a parent, obviously. And it makes us proud, but there's a lot that goes into thinking about, I mean, you know, as parents, I can't honestly say, if you ask me right now, do I see my daughter as a, as a Miss Lake Chelan contestant? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, but maybe that's what she wants to do. Mm -hmm. And it's a good way to find out sometimes about that connection. And yeah. so I want to thank you, as I said, um, and I want to wish you all the very, very best, whether you, you know, whatever the outcome. And um, I hope to be able to sit down and chat with you some more in the future. All righty. This is Dave Rogie here for the Chelan High School for Lake Chelan Royalty Program and also for the Chelan Sports Blog. And I uh, hope you'll take the opportunity to watch our little video and get to know our young ladies. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Thank you.